What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today I'm starting a new uh, mini-series where I'm going to be using the HTML and CSS tutorials that I've been doing and I'm going to be taking what I'm teaching them and using them to create a website from scratch. So I've decided to go out on the internet and find a website that I liked and that is the site that we're going to build. So the site I've picked is here. It's a coffee shop and it's got a pretty good style, pretty good design. And I think it'd be pretty interesting to build it. So here's what it looks like. So as you can see just off the bat, uh, we're gonna use some CSS grid for the layout. We have a uh, section here, a nav section, a main section. All right, let's start coding. Okay, so I'm now in Visual Studio Code. I have the basic project set up. I have my index.html file. I have a folder for all my assets of this project. Uh, inside of there, I have a folder with style.css, nothing in it. And then I have a folder with all the images. And I went ahead and I downloaded all of the images on the website. Uh, I'll put a link in the description so you can download these as well. So we can work with the same pictures they have on the website. All right, so first things first, let's add the necessary tags to index.html. For the title, let's give this coffee shop. And let's link this style sheet as well. There we go. And let's run this and make sure everything looks all good. All right. Perfect. Looking pretty good. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is declare the basic layout of the page. So for that, we're going to be using CSS Grid. So as I mentioned before, we have a left nav bar over here. We have a top section up here. And then we have the main body section here that just scrolls all the way down. So first, let's make a container call this coffee shop container and then inside here we need our three sections of the website so we'll call the nav bar left nav container we'll say header for the top header and we'll say body for the main body of the website all right, so the first thing that I'm going to do is declare some general styles. So we're going to remove all the margin and padding from the page. And then we are going to declare the font for the website. Next, we're going to define the CSS grid. So first we need to grab our main container. We need to say display grid. All right, next we're going to do grid template columns. And we only have two columns here. We have the left nav and then this main column. So we'll just give this a fixed width of 300 pixels for now. And then we'll give the right one fractional unit, which is just the remainder of the space. And that's all the styling we need for the coffee shop container. Next up, let's grab the left nav column. And for this, I'm going to use the shorthand property grid area. If you missed my last video on CSS grid, you might want to take a look at that and then come back to this video. So it's going to start in the first row. It is going to start in the first, it's going to start in the first column. It's going to end in, in the second row. So we need to write three for that. And then it's going to end in 
the second column. All right, let's move on to header. Let's declare grid area again. And for this, so it's starting in the first row, and it is starting in the second column. So that's one and two. And then it is ending in the first row. So remember, we have to write two for that. And it is ending. And it is ending in the second column as well. So it is stopping before the third column, which really doesn't exist, but we write three anyways. <clears throat> Last up is the body. Again, let's specify the grid area. Now this is starting in the second column and second row. Row one, row two starts here. Column one, column two. So we'll write two, two. And then it is finishing in that same row as well. So just like here, we need to go up by one. So three and three. And then that is it for our CSS grid styling. So if we look here at our live server, there's going to be nothing there. So let's fix that and just test out what we have. So in here, so here we can write left nav, header, and body. And then boom, there we go. We have the left nav there, header, and the body. Remember, we removed all the padding and margin from the page. And it looks like it's starting to come together. And if we actually put a border on all of these, just so we can visualize this a little better. Oops, one pixel, solid, black. Let's do that for all of them. So the border for this one is not showing up because I used column where I should have used container. Let's fix that. There we go. Now the border is showing up. And the styling on that one didn't, didn't get affected because it's already in the upper left. So that's default anyways. So there we go. That is our CSS grid layout. Let's remove these. <clears throat> All right, let's start adding some content to the header. All right, let's go over to the website. And let's grab this text right here. And let's add that to the header. We'll, we'll wrap that in h1 tag. There we go. And then let's grab this text right here. Let's wrap that in h3 tag. Now, if we go back to our live server, we have both of that. Now we got to style it a little bit. A couple things we're going to do for styling. We need to align it into in the center of the page. We need to change the color and maybe play with the font size and the padding a little bit. So let's do that. Let's go down here and let's comment header. So we'll put all the styles for the header right here. First thing we're going to do is text align the center. Oops. All right, so let's grab the main header column. All right, so let's get the class. And all the styles for the header will go inside here. So the first thing that we want to do is align all the text in the center. So we can do that using text align center. There we go, it's in the center. Next, we want to change the color to white. We'll use hex. Okay, so now it's white. You can't see it, so let's change the background color to match this background color. So throughout this project, I'm going to use a little trick called inspect element to keep all the styles 
the same. So we can right click, hit inspect, and now we're brought to the code behind the site. So down here, you can see the styles for what's on the page. So this is the styles for the H3. You can see the color is white. We can get the font size, the line hat, all that good stuff. But if we right click again, let's see, we want this section here. Find that this right here is the background color. Let's copy that background color and let's make that our background color. There we go. All right, so the next thing that I'm going to do is give this a little bit of margin and padding. So for the header, I'm going to give it a padding of 50 pixels. See how that looks? Perfect. And let's give this H3 here um, top margin so it's not so close to this H1. Back here, let's give this a class of header h3. Let's call this in here. And we will give you margin top. Let's try 15 pixels. Perfect. But now, so now there's a little bit of margin there. Okay, so now this top part matches this part a little bit. Let's put the logo here in the corner. So that's going to be in the left nav section. And we can use the image tag. Let's grab the SRC of that. That will be slash assets, images, and logo. We'll give it some alt text. We'll say logo. And then we'll give it a class of logo back here. All right, let's see. So it looks like it worked because it messed up with the styling. So it's really big so we can't see it. So back here in the CSS, let's say left nav column. All the styling for the left nav will be in here. So let's first give the logo uh, width and height. Say so width of 200 pixels and height will be auto. So make the height as tall as it needs to be to keep the aspect ratio good. Okay, let's see. So now there's, there's no styling messed up. But we still can't see the logo and that's because the logo is white. So we need to change the background color so it can contain the logo. So it looks like the background color is the same as here. So let's call this class here, left nav column. And let's give it a background color of the same as up top. Perfect. Now we have the logo and the background color. Let's center the logo and give it a little bit of padding. So to center a, an image, we're going to say display block. We're going to give the margin auto, which will say the margin on the left and right is auto. So it will be equal, and boom, there we go, it's centered. Let's give it a little bit of padding. We'll say 10 pixels. Perfect. A little bit of padding there. And it's looking pretty good. Now, if we go over here, we notice that the nav bar is the entire height, and when we scroll, it doesn't move. So we can do that over here with our CSS. So first, let's give this left nav column a height of 100, view height, VH. There you go. Now it takes the entire screen, and Let's say the width 300 pixels, which we already declared up here, but we're going to declare it again. 
and then we are going to say position is fixed and this will make it so it doesn't move when we scroll so for example to test that out let's go over here and for the body let's just call body and we're going to say height is 4000 pixels and here we go so now we can scroll and look the left nav does not move okay let's remove that okay so that's looking pretty good now the last part is we're gonna set up a little bit of the body so if we go back here we notice that this has its own unique background color and we have this image first so let's find out what this background color is inspect so if we look here we see that the body and the html have this background color so let's copy that and back here we're going to declare our body styles and we will say class body has a background color of that and there we go perfect next let's get this image so inside here we're going to say image slash assets image boom okay this is it alt main image we can give us a class of body main image and then over here in the css we can grab that class and we can do a few styles on it so first let's give it a width of 80 percent perfect next let's give it a height of auto and give some padding and we are going to center it using display block and margin oops, margin auto awesome so as you can see our site is coming along pretty well and in the next video we are going to finish up the navbar and work more on the body